Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day, what's going on? Today we're gonna just go ahead and link OpenGL and I have a pre-prepared code for your bare minimum kind of needs uh, in order to get a window out in, in OpenGL after you linked it. So what you want to do is you want to first go to glue, uh, glue this, this homepage right here, glue.sourceforge.net and you want to go ahead and download this binaries windows 32 bit and 64 bit so you go ahead and do that you saw I already did it once more just to check them out so you do that then you go to GLM which is a open GL mathematics library and you're gonna need this for all kinds of camera like rotation and translation and stuff it makes life a little easier you just go in here and then you press downloads and go ahead and get this one right here the new one 0.9.8.4 boom you got that then you go to glfw for the window and stuff like that you press download and you're gonna come to this page and uh, then you can select 32 bit or 64 bit and this is the one you want to uh, work for right so I mean download any one of these do your thing uh, and then and then you're good alright um, let's see so once you download everything go ahead to Visual Studio or whatever you're using. Yeah, download the right one as well. I have 2015 Visual Studio, so I'm using that. I downloaded stuff for that. Uh, if you have code blocks and stuff, it's the min GW that you want to download. So, uh, so yeah, go check that out. Uh, then you make a new project. Let's make a new project. And something I like doing, which I haven't done before, is you make a com we make a console application. I think yeah. Uh, well, something I like doing, which I haven't done before is uh, actually let me go ahead in here and make a new folder call it OpenGL examples whatever and then I'm going here select this folder call it OpenGL examples okay next you want to do the same thing empty project everything and then just finish just like that <clears throat> and then you just have a regular kind of uh, project right so go ahead and create a main file per usual main I'm gonna just copy paste this code in and I'm gonna go through it with you in a bit and all of this should be included as soon as I link everything properly so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna minimize all of these for now so you don't have to worry about those uh, let me start linking well basically go to your folder where you have created your pro project so I created it here OpenGL examples OpenGL examples right here alright so I go in here to where your solution is and you wanna get all the files from where you downloaded them now I already downloaded them before and I used them so I'm gonna go ahead and do go into here go into where I just downloaded them uh, I think it was uh, 3d programming and then 3d uh, where is it open GL here we go so I downloaded these right and I created a, a folder for them here linking so I'm just gonna copy this folder and put it in in here and I like doing this, I like sending in all the libraries, everything with the game and the solution itself because then that person who's playing the game on their computer doesn't have to download them again and install those. So you're kind of dynamically linking it. And this is great, like if, and this is great for programmers as well. If you want to send this project to someone, all the files are included, just send the project, you know, they'll be able to run it and code on it and everything. So you keep all those like library and includes and DLLs within the solution folder. So as soon as this is done, we're gonna go and link everything. So let me see. So there are three things: glue, GLFW, and all the GLM stuff. Excuse me, all the GLM stuff. So all this stuff isn't really right now necessary, but it's good to include. I mean, vector threes, vector fours, uh, matrices, four times four matrices matrices sorry uh, matrix transformation and then I don't know what this I don't remember what that is but still that's pretty sweet uh, and we'll go through all this stuff as well really quickly so it should be complete any second 
I'm going to start off by opening my properties. Go into all configurations. All right, Windows 32, if you want to develop for Windows 32, so a lot more people can access your game. You go into C++ General, additional include libraries. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into one step back, go into linking, and then start off with glue, and then include. Yeah, it should just be include. All right. So glue, include. All right. And instead of doing this, let me see. I think we can just do, uh, where is it? Let me see. I just have to see something. Output. Let me see how you manifest. Wait, where is it? Linker, general. I think we can just do this. Let me just copy this let me go to general where I was and then remove all of this and then say solution there solution solution directory and then linking glue everything is fine I'm just gonna copy this because that's where my solution is I'm pretty sure it is uh, it is in yeah it's in there we go so solution there linking so no matter what computer you're on it will directly find the library the correct one now I'm gonna add a new one I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, linking glfw include just that boom and the same thing here I'm gonna remove all of this and just say solution there okay as well as include GLM so GLM I think all you have to do is just include I'm not sure if it's GLM GLM no I think it's just GLM you just include that there you go and then the same thing here solution there and then apply linker let's go to linker general additional library directories and here we're just going to have to link two things. We're going to have to go in here and link glue and glfw. So the lib folder, uh, win32. And then the same thing, solution directory. So lib release win32 because I, I want to code for 32 bit. And then uh, let's go to linking. What was that? GLFW? No, it was glue. So GLFW. I have, uh, this is for code blocks. This is for Visual Studio. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that. And then do this. And then OK. Apply. And then input. Let me see. I'm going to have to cheat here, guys and grills, because I'm not totally sure what it was. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat. It's no big deal. You can cheat. Uh, you go in here, let me just see what I did, uh, and which actual ones that you have to to link. So let me go into properties, linker input, let me just copy paste these, so save us some time. These are the ones you want to put in to all configurations. Uh, OpenGL32, Glue, 32S, and GLFW3, and then apply. And now everything seems to be linked. Now the only thing missing is we need to go into our uh, linking, go into glue, go into bin, release Win32, copy this out. I'm just going to put it here, glue32 DLL. I'm going to go again into linking, GLFW, uh, and then go into VC, let me see, yeah, GLFW3. Copy that, go back, and just paste that in there. And I think that's all you need. I don't think you have to go into, let me double check just in case, in GLM. There is nothing like that, no DLL that you need, I think. So if everything is linked properly, this should run. And it should show me a window with a gray color. Okay, so that worked. That's a window with a gray color. Now to get going, you know, it's good to have current time and last time and delta time calculations no matter what game you're making. So I'll let those be there. 
um, and let's just go through this quickly. This is where you create your window. And GLFW has a window handler thing where you can just, here you just specify the version, here you, the OpenGL thing, and then like some, some other interesting like resizable and, and stuff like that. Uh, stuff like that. You don't need to initialize all of these, but it, it helps. You can just copy paste this. Here's where you create the window with the width and the height, the title, and then some, some handler pointers. Uh, some monitor and shit. I'm not really sure what those do, but still, they're there. Uh, as I say, I'm not I'm not a professional open shield. I'm just I'm okay, you know. I'm learning as well. But I thought I'd give you guys this tutorial so you at least can start a project with open shield. And uh, I won't be able to tell you a lot of details about everything, but I basically know how three programming works, basically, and that I'll be able to teach you. But uh, all of these specifics in open shield, I'm still learning, so we'll see. Uh, here, of course, if the window wasn't created, this is an error check. Then you'll just terminate GLFW, which is the window uh, API. Uh, and then if everything works and everything's fine, you don't throw and then you keep going. You get the frame buffer size, okay, where you just uh, draw everything out. And then you have to make the current context the window. So the window becomes active. You set the viewport for the window from 0, 0 to the width and the height is really important. Uh, these are like more for drawing later. You don't really need these. Um, I don't know why I have these here, but you could live without them. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and this is more for like depth and stuff later when you're drawing. So you can actually get the depth of the pixel and stuff. Pretty sure. Uh, here's just some temporary screen width and height to send into the shaders later. You might not need those. Uh, you in it. GLFW and all that is is you call the function GLFW in it from the library in it glue is this is all you do um, and if it doesn't work you throw so another thing that's important you need to define glue static and then you need to include all of these libraries not these maybe but at least these all right these two and then you should be good uh, let's see so in it glue Backface culling is to say that. Well, I try is if you remember the last video we made a a tutorial on vectors and triangles, right? How triangles are points made by vectors. So those vectors will have a direction, and your graphics card will see that direction, and it will uh, decide for you which side is the front face of a triangle and the back face of a triangle. So when that triangle is rotated 180 degrees, it won't be drawn if the cull face is back. And the culling just means you cut something out, so it won't draw it if it's backwards facing, basically. And then you can decide what is, you know, counterclockwise. If the vectors are going counterclockwise, they have their front face on that side. And then you have your main loop, where just you look, if the window is not closed, then you do stuff. Calculate delta time. Pull the events for GLFW, okay, for like all the button presses and stuff like that. Uh, you clear the window with a specific color, clear it, clear the buffer bit, color buffer bit, and the depth buffer bit. You don't need this from start, <coughs> but you can keep that there because you're going to be using that later. You can draw all your stuff and then you'll just swap buffers. So what OpenGL does is it has two buffers going, or you can have multiple, but at least two where it's drawing on one. And when it's done, you print it out on screen and you start drawing on the other one. So they're kind of swapping two different screens showing you so you don't get the screen tear type thing. Uh, so that's what this does. It does that automatically for you for that window. And then when you're done with your game while loop is out, you just terminate GLFW. So I hope you guys understood how to link stuff. To recap, go ahead and download all the files. Put them in here. Put them in your directory where your solution is. Okay all of these three take out the DLLs from glue and GLFW put them in here go ahead in your OpenGL examples and just you know add these dependencies here go ahead in C++ general add your <coughs> include directories and in your linker include your lib directories, library directories, and do it for all configurations. So that's a big quick recap. You get a window printed out with a solid color. 
uh, and hopefully you can watch other tutorials in the meanwhile after this to get started on drawing out a triangle but we'll we'll come to that in a little bit uh, but yeah thanks for watching guys and girls i hope this helped if you have any questions you can ask me i guess uh, i'm not the best at this but i'll try to answer your questions as well as i can and yeah thanks for supporting commenting and watching and all that stuff thanks and i'll see you in the next one all right bye bye